Hello everyone, Mini Jota here, and welcome back to another episode of Parasite Eve. This is part two, and we're gonna go ahead and jump down the hole that we found during the last episode. We're gonna go explore a new area of the opera. Hopefully it won't be too horrible. Oh, little girl. Are you alone? It's dangerous here, you should go. And then she laughs like a creep and runs away. I mean, you did tell her to go, so I guess she did as she was told? Maybe? Yes? That girl, it couldn't be. Okay, so let's go ahead and chase after her and see if we can find Eve. This is gonna be a new area. We're gonna be exploring the backstage area of the opera. There's a bunch of doors here, but all of them are locked for now. So let's just go ahead and continue. There should be a cutscene coming up. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the first monster encounter that you'll find in the game, so just go ahead and kill it, it should be pretty easy. If you're still using the club, I'll recommend you to switch to the gun instead because you don't want to get close to it. He does have a melee attack, it will whip his tail at you if you stay too close. Uh, with the gun you can just shoot a few times and you should be dead. And that's our first encounter done. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What's going on here? Okay, there's a few rooms that you can explore here, so we're gonna go ahead and check them out one by one. There should be only three. We need keys for the other one, so we'll go ahead and explore each one. And here we have backstage one for the actress, I guess, so just go ahead and start exploring the back. Oh. Uh, uh. And yeah, you see the corpse moving, so just go ahead and talk to it. You're still alive? Hold on, let me call the paramedics. M melissa she's a monster don't try to talk now melissa melissa you mean the main actress she probably got to suzanne too you'll have to stop her no please wake up hang in there yeah no she's she's done unfortunately so go ahead to the back and continue exploring the other lockers. I think there's an item here somewhere. Yeah, medicine one. I don't think there's anything else, but I guess let's just double check to make sure. And there's also another locker room across from this one, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. There's one more room unlocked, I will check that one in a little bit. Let's just go ahead and check this one first. Okay. Ah, here, take it, take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me, I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know only staff are allowed in here? There was an incident here, you'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. And then he just leaves. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the... Wait, hold on, I can't move. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so now you oh, now you can go ahead and check the, the locker rooms in the back. Uh, there should be one more item here, so just go ahead and check them out. I believe the items are randomized from what you get, so you might not see the same items that I get. But, of course, they're always going to be in the same location. Oh wow, what a waste of time. I should have started from the other side. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's go outside. There's nothing else on the other locker room. Uh, you know, the other lockers. So let's go ahead and... Head to the last room that's unlocked. I should probably reload before... Wait, hold on. Oh, I haven't done this in a while, I forgot how to do it. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. For now, let's just go ahead and... Oh, well, that's not the one. Uh, it's this right here. This is also a save room, if you're interested. So the way that saves... Save, um, 
save points work in this game is that you have to... Oh, I'm trying to talk to this guy first. Let's go around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so just examine the body. Examine, examine the body. There we go. It's a little finicky, the... What, what's this key? And you get a theater key, which allows you to unlock the other rooms that we haven't been to. I'm not gonna save for now. Let's just gonna go ahead and check this chest in the back. Also, if you open the coat hanger, you'll see this little parrot. Hot, hot, help, help. He doesn't do anything, so, you know, just go ahead and leave the room. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore the first room. I like going in a counterclockwise order. I'll tell you why in a little bit. So let's go ahead and check this lock room first. Uh, there should be a closet at the end. Yes. And there's also a diary that you can read here, so let's go ahead and check it out. A diary. November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all the medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Damn. November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I'd better take some more medicine. December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die, I just want to get through the show. December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better, I better take a lot of medication tonight. December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burning an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. December 17th, Wednesday. It looks like I'll be the lead. I'll better take more medication and work it. December 23rd, Tuesday. Opening night, everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, we should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert in the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well, I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I'd better check more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key. And you're gonna get rehearse key. With that you should be able to unlock everything. So yeah, this is Melissa's room, the main actress, the, you know, the crazy lady that you know, burned everyone alive. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit more into that later. Uh, for now, there should be a random encounter here. If you go through the hallways over and over, you can actually fight enemies multiple times that keep respawning. It's, it, I guess it has that RPG aspect to it in which you can always respawn enemies over and over to gain more levels. If you want to, you can go ahead and do that. It should be pretty easy right now. Oh, level up. Okay, so normally when you level up, you get a a point on each ability that you that you have available. You also get more capacity space, so that's that's why getting levels is so important that we'll be able to carry more items. If you notice, my inventory space is kind of small right now. Uh, it's a little limited, so uh, let's go ahead and explore this corpse, which which wasn't here before. It's that clown from the dressing room. Yeah. So as soon as he stepped out, he got burned alive, just as everybody else. But for some reason, you are not being affected. Uh, the game's gonna explore that a little bit more as the story progresses. Go ahead and open this closet in this room and... another random encounter. This is a one-time encounter. There's actually an item in that closet, uh, but you have to beat the rat before you go ahead and... Ooh. Oh, God. It's a little bit of a tight space, so you can't... Oh, another level. Nice. A little bit of a tight space, so I guess you can maneuver too well as you would want to. So let's go ahead, get, go ahead and get that item that was on the closet. Oh god. The it's kind of weird. Like whenever you try to grab an item, you have to be exactly at the exact spot. Otherwise, you won't. Oh, there we go. So it's a new weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and equip it. It's definitely better than what you have. It, it can only hold five bullets instead of six, but it's still definitely much stronger than what you have currently. So go ahead and use it. And here you get an offense plus. I believe that can be a defense plus as well, which you can add to your armor. 
but like I said, the items sometimes are randomized. So go ahead and add it to your new weapon if you if you happen to get the offense plus. If not, just add it to your armor. Although there's another piece of armor in this room, so I would say wait for a little bit until you get it. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. And yeah, you can go ahead and explore. There's a piece of armor here that you can get also. That should increase your defense considerably. It's uh, important to note that your, you know, how strong you feel, how strong you get as the game progresses is mostly dependent on on the items that you use, not so much on the levels. The levels do give you health and, you know, more parasitic energy for your abilities and also they give you more item capacity and increase your stats overall, but the biggest increase that you'll notice is every time you upgrade your weapon, so make sure you don't miss those. So we have a room across, the door here and the door in the bottom actually, the double doors, they lead to the same room, so you can take either one. Uh, I'm gonna take the one at the top for now. There's not much really here, however there is a respawnable random encounter. If you wanna come back here to grind a few levels, you can go ahead. There's also a new enemy here, a parrot. He's pretty easy. Um, I don't think you can really avoid it, he kind of flies to you and you know, packs you for damage. He doesn't do too much right now. Oh god. Not bad. Thing. But with your new gun, everything should be dying in like one hit, so... If you want to grind, now would be a good time. And uh, that's the RPG aspect of this game. Like, you know, there's some, some bar horror elements to it, but also there's the RPG aspect in the fact that you level up. And you gain attributes, get more, you know, improved equipment, you find random encounters on the map. There's gonna be some role playing later on. But we'll get to that. This is just the intro section, so uh, it's pretty straightforward in terms of where you can go. Just go ahead and we're gonna explore the other two rooms that we haven't been to. We're gonna go ahead and. Oops, wrong door. I was already there. That was the clown door. Okay, so this is the one that we want to go to. The exit is actually at the top, the double doors are at the top, but just wait a little bit until you get there. Uh, once you get there, you're gonna have a somewhat tougher encounter. You probably don't want to do that. So yeah, there's an item in the closet in the back, and also you can fight this parrot if you talk to it. We already fought one, so it shouldn't be too surprising if you do the same thing that I did. Excellent. Okay, I'm actually gonna grind a little bit, I want to get to level 4 before I get Exit the area, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm level 4. I gain a new ability called Scan. And I should be all ready. So let's go ahead and proceed. There's Eve right there. Or... Um, Melissa, um, no. I'm... I am, I am, Eve. Ah, I'm, I'm getting hot. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? So as you can see, she has somewhat of a dual personality. Once again... The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. And yeah, this is your first semi-boss fight, I would say? So this, this encounter is a little bit different than before. Um, you can use scan on her if you want, I don't think it does anything. No. Okay. So just go ahead and, and fight her like normally, just shoot her. Oh. So she has that beam attack, she also has a melee attack, so you just try to kind of stay up away from her. But as far as that, that beam, she, there's a space in the middle that you can avoid and then kind of run. Try to follow the, the pattern of the beam so that it doesn't hit you. And just go ahead and shoot her. She died pretty quickly. Uh, if you grind out a little bit to level 4 and also if you have... I keep getting hit, damn it. If you just keep shooting her, you should be perfectly fine. Uh, you're kind of OP right now, so... Alright. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Girl? 
until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. Oh, and another vision. Uh, yeah, if you know a little bit about biology, you'll kind of understand a little bit as to what they're talking about. What? Where is this? Is that... is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... The doctor! Wait! So it's actually the same vision that she had before, but a little bit extended. And then she takes that opportunity to run away from you. Mitochondria? To be free? Yeah, if you know a little bit about biology, you'll kind of have an idea as to what they're talking about. If you know a little bit about cell structure, that's what they're referring to with, like, you know, nucleus and symbiosis, mitochondria. There's a hole in the, the back of the room where Eve went, but for now what I'm actually going to do is save. Actually, I'm going to reload first. What you do is that you hit reload and then you kind of have to move up and down depending on when you want the bullets to go. Um, it takes a little while to get used to. It's a little weird, but... For now, I think I'm just going to use the phone to save my progress and I'm, I'm going to call it an episode for today. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. I know I did. So uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy!